Welcome to my channel, Gruners. Yes, on this vlog, it's 10 weeks to Chicago Marathon and there's a special trip coming up next weekend. So more coming. Ah! Oh, yes, 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 Gruners, it's been a fabulous week. As I said, a warm welcome to my channel. And if you are new, now's a good time to subscribe to my channel with the forthcoming fun and frolics that will be happening over the coming weeks and months on the Running Guru channel. Yes, indeedy, it's going to be fabulous. So, yeah, as I said at the beginning, uh, today, today, Sunday, the whatever it is of July, it's 10 weeks to race day Chicago Marathon. And uh, as I said, that's my A race, and I'll be covering some of the days of me training where I've done some video in on, on training, on site, whatever you want to call that. And uh, yes, as I said, uh, this coming uh, weekend, next weekend, I'll be on a special trip and uh, and I'll be keeping that a bit hush-hush, but uh, all will be revealed on the uh, the next weekend. So as I said, please do subscribe so you don't miss out on that uh, special trip. And yeah, so quickly, let's go into, as I said, this week, I don't know where you've been, but I've been uh, around the British Charles and apparently on Thursday was the hottest day, uh, apparently in a long, long time. We've been enjoying fabulous, fabulous sunshine and uh, on that Thursday it was the hottest day. So what did I decide to do? Have a look what I decided to do. Yeah. Chip Chip Gruners, yes, here I am at a racetrack and it's a glorious, hot, sunny day. So I always practice what I preach. So today may have been track Thursday, tempos, sprints and all that type of stuff, but it's not the temperature for that. To, right now is the hottest time of the day. So I thought I'd go out because I've heard so many people complaining about the weather. So I'm just going to go out for a, a nice, easy, steady run for about 45, 50 minutes, an hour-ish. And I'll just go out there and enjoy the sunshine. So yeah, the track is here. It can wait for another day when it's cooler and I can do it another time. So yeah, I've got my hat on, sunglasses on. I've got a shirt on. Today brought to you by Acorns Children's Hospice in the West Midlands. So yes, another plug because I've been doing various challenges for Acorns Hospice since uh, London Marathon and the Tri Guru. So yeah, I'm going to go out there. I don't want to shock the uh, locals, so I'm keeping a shirt on. Yeah, I might get a bit sweaty, but let's go out there and do this. Later. Yes, that's right. Whilst I was at a racetrack, uh, track Thursday, tempos, whatever you want to call it, it was way too hot to be doing any of that. And as I say, I do practice what I preach. Um, and I went out for a nice, easy, uh, easy jog. And, and it felt really good. Felt really, really good. And, uh, and then a few days later, <laughs> the weather changed. <laughs> and I was out on the Saturday. It was always a nice, easy one it was going to be. But this is what happened on the Saturday. Oh, what a difference a few days makes, yeah? From the hottest day, apparently, in the UK, only on the, was it the Thursday, yeah? Now it's Saturday and it's uh, pouring with rain. Lovely. Anyway, off to do some more training runs, so catch you later. So, yes, that might have been a bit of a drizzly uh, morning on the Saturday, but nothing compared to today, Sunday. Whoa, what, what? The heavens opened, shall we say check out uh, what happened. I've done a bit of before, during and after the uh, long run. It was a 15 miler, nice easy long run, uh, 24 kilometers, however you want to measure that. It was 16 degrees Celsius, plus 16 degrees Celsius, but boy, check out the weather, yeah? <laughs> that was something. Oh yes, Gruners, good morning to you. Yes, it's Sunday today and it's a momentous actual day because 10 weeks today, 10 weeks today, will be the Chicago Marathon. Yes, that's my A race for the year. Very much looking forward to it and uh, today's long run day, Sunday, and I've got my hat on again. But unlike Thursday, which was the hottest day ever apparently, so I had the hat on to keep the sun off, today I've got the hat on to keep the rain off. It's been torrential here and right now there's a bit of a lull so I thought I'd get the picture out. Get the picture out, get the camera out and uh, do some filming before it, the downpour comes again. But uh, yeah, can't do anything about the weather so I'll be having a hat on to keep the uh, rain off. And today is fi a 15 miler, 24k, so uh, looking forward to that. Trying out some new uh, fueling strategies and see how we get on with that. So uh, yeah, very much uh, 
looking uh, looking forward to that and uh, yes see there's more people coming out on the trail so yeah today is a nice easy trail run let's see how we get on and uh, catch you later hopefully i won't get too soaked <laughs> so yes grunners i've taken a slight detour off the uh, trail at my turnaround point which is the uh, 12 kilometer just over 12 kilometers uh, i don't know if you recognize this but this is uh, st john's on the isle of man we have the Timwall Festival, which uh, you may recall I bumped into on my training run as part of the uh, the uh, right. Lighthouse Challenge. That was it, trying to remember. Ooh. And as you can see, I don't know if it's shown on here, maybe it's all blur on the lens, but uh, it is piddling down with rain. Yes, that's right. So good job I got the hat on. Keep rain off my eyes. So let's head on back and uh, yeah, let's catch you in a short while. Bye. Oh, goodness, yes. 24k done, 15 miles. I had to get back on the road because parts of the trails were flooded. Yeah, it is absolutely teeming down. So the past two hours, yeah, it's about two hours out there. Um, yeah, very, very wet, very, very windy. Yeah, the other added challenge was running into the headwind, running back with the headwind. But hey ho, let's get inside, cool down, dry up, shower. Let's go. Hey. So yes, what started out a bit drizzly, the heavens opened up even more and it became even heavier and by the time I'd done my turnaround and was coming back from uh, St John's, a lot of the trail had been flooded over and there was one section where it was so flooded um, I didn't feel like wading through that section so I turned off and went on to the uh, uh, main road and finished my run on uh, that particular road. So yes, it was pretty torrential. Thankfully now, mid-afternoon, the rain has stopped and uh, so really grateful. Did any of you go out on a long run today? I don't know where you may have been in the world, but leave some comments below how your long run was today. And if you are training for Chicago, I'd love to hear from you. You're training for New York. Yeah, I've done New York last year. I'd love to hear from you all how your training's going. Are you getting into your long runs? How long are your longest runs so far? As I said, today for me it was a nice easy 15 miler, 24 kilometers, um, albeit <laughs> on the return leg um, out and back. It was torrential rain and headwinds, so not really ideal for doing any uh, filming, especially with just me mobile phone. Um, so yeah, that was a good one. I'd love to hear from you and how that went. But yeah, a little bit more about what's coming over the next few weeks, yeah? So yes, as I said, the next few weeks, next weekend I've got a special trip um, coming up and it'll be in a uh, beautiful location, I hope. Hopefully the weather will be good. Um, but uh, whatever the weather, it's a beautiful place and I can't wait to be there and show you some of the footage of uh, another beautiful part of the world that uh, I'll be training in. And, uh, and two weeks today will be the Isle of Man Half Marathon. Yay! Which will be the third part, if you've been following my vlogs, it'll be the third part of my Iron Guru Challenge. Having already completed the first part, which was the Parish Walk. Is there a link there? Parish Walk. And the second part was the Lighthouse Challenge, the bike ride, 103 miles on a bike uh, that I'd borrowed just a few days before. Very grateful for Cycle360 for learning that bike and all the kit, kits and gear so I could do that bike ride. And as I say, two weeks time will be the Isle of Man Half Marathon. It's also the same day as the full marathon, um, but uh, I won't be taking part in the full marathon because I'm in training for a marathon. So I've not done the training to run a marathon in two weeks time. So. Uh, and to be honest, I've not done any specific training for a half marathon. I'm just in marathon training, so I'll go out and see how the legs are on the half marathon. It'd be great to see. It's, it's a pretty undulating course, which means hills. And uh, I think the first four miles is a nice climb. And then there's a bit of a descent and then it's up and down and up and down. So, uh, yeah, if you're looking for a PB, which lots of people do, um, personal best or personal record, I think the American phrase is PRs, um, it's not a course for that at all yeah because people go to flat courses yeah we've seen all the flat courses for their pbs prs so uh, i'm just going out there for for a run have a bit of a race see how the legs are really looking forward to that and uh, and if you don't want to miss out on that vlog obviously i'll be going out and do my uh, hopefully my usual race vlogs if i can find my uh, trusty little camera have it with me charged and so on this is the little beauty that i take with me yeah <laughs> nice simple compact uh, do a bit of commentary let's see how it goes so if you don't want to miss out on that please do subscribe and yeah so that's what's coming over over the next few weeks i hope you've enjoyed this 
And, uh, and if you have, give it a thumbs up, like, share, share it amongst all your friends, share it on the Facebooks and social media. And spread the love and care of the Running Guru Show. Yes, indeedy. So thank you all so much for your time. I really do appreciate you coming here each and every week, every vlog, every day, whatever it may be. It's pretty random when I do post these things, but I'll be looking to do things maybe a bit more regular. So thank you so much for your time uh, coming to my channel and watching, listening each and every weekday. I really do appreciate it. And I'll keep you posted on how the training is going towards Chicago Marathon for me. And I'd love to hear from you how your training is going for your particular marathons, half marathons, races, whatever it may be. So remember, guys, wherever you are, whatever you do, keep... Let's keep it going guys.